Well, welcome back, Beowulf Nation. It's on Beowulf. Back at it with a Kawasaki SXR stand up video. So I am selling this. Uh, I like it a lot. It's just here. It's, it's challenging riding here. If I lived in a lake, that'd be a whole different thing to mess around with here. It's uh, not as easy as you think. Especially when we got sharks and alligators and all that crap. It's not fun. You see bubbles everywhere, not knowing what the heck it could be. And uh, yeah. But if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Existing subscribers, hit the bell notification. Get notified as soon as the video is uploaded. I'm doing free monthly giveaways. Totally free to enter. Uh, you have to subscribe to I'm Beowulf and to my second YouTube channel, Beowulf Nation. Like the video. Follow me on Instagram, I am underscore Beowulf. If you don't do Insta, then follow me on my Facebook page, I am Beowulf. Totally free to enter. And uh, doing free monthly giveaways like Jet Tribe, Life Fest, and all that cool stuff. So, um, actually, tonight is when I'm picking the October winner. Uh, the videos are not exactly in order because they're sometimes weeks out being filmed, but I'm announcing in my live stream tonight. And, uh, yeah. So, I have the sponsors in the same location far forward, but as high up as they can. Curious to see how the thing will handle with that. Uh, Last time someone got caught in the pump, which I pull out whatever it is, but I guarantee you some leaves or something stuck still up in there. It's going to take a little bit to push it out. Um, hopefully nothing goes wrong. And how much light do we got? Oh my god, we got minutes of light. Like, no light. <laughs> we don't even have light. <laughs> uh, tons of debris out here. What the heck? Let's go out right before the sun sets. <laughs>
just like I hover over my code All hell, all white freedom I chose Tall tales, my eyes see to my vogue And send you back home My God of peace, my God of war, my own So much I've been shown All hell, all white freedom I chose
it, I fit it up. Hop in my car and I get it up. Secure the bag, yeah, I get the bus. Not awesome when you got alligators following you. What's that? It's not fun when you have an alligator following you. No, you did out there? Oh, uh, there's a big alligator that lives underneath the swing uh, bridge. Yes, I've had it one time I'm making turns and the alligator comes up from the from the bottom, center of the river. I've seen, I had another ski right by the RV park there. The alligator actually, it's making a sharp turn. The alligator hit me so hard it almost knocked me off the ski. Oh, yeah, not on this, but on a sit-down ski. That's, oh, yeah. That's a real nice sled you got there. I'm actually selling it. You are, huh? Yeah. Why are you selling it? Because I don't want to be jet skiing with alligators anymore. <laughs> How come? I don't want to be jet skiing with alligators anymore. <laughs> well, yeah, you got to think. I live in Ocean Lakes Campground and I'm on a front row. Right. And I'm, I was bringing my 800 out so I could just wheel it right out of the ocean every time. Right. And that's when I was thinking, man, I'd love that 800 so smooth compared to my, I mean, the 1500 compared to the 800. Yeah, the sea has low hours. I put a lot of money into it. It's just, um, I just want, I, I, I really want to get a Kawasaki Ultra 310R. Yeah, my neighbor's got one. They're real nice. They're 300 horse. Yeah. yeah I, have got... a, I have a GP 1800R. I like that ski a lot, but this one's just, uh, the hard thing, this is the, on the intercoastal, this is the only place you can launch yet. And it just gets to be like, when you're out there, you'll see huge bubbles like scuba divers underwater. You know it's alligator. Yeah, because yeah, yeah. actually I fish in the South Santee. The alligators are for me to you, and I'm trying to fish. And they're 15 footers. Oh no, there's. Well, you heard about what happened to those people in Alabama, right? There were two women on kayaks, and it was like a 12 or 15 oh, yeah. foot alligator, and they didn't even know there's an alligator, and then knocked her off. And then the other person tries to rescue, and they both got knocked off. And then the firefighters had to come under the rope. Like they're. So luckily that nothing happened. But the problem here is if you go to any of the lakes, because there's a lake south of here two hours, but it still ties in the ocean. And usually the largest recorded gators are always in lakes. Like Lake Busby, there's gators like- 20 footers. There's huge, and you can see them when you're driving by. And when you have flooding, it just, I don't know, when you're out here, it's uh, 
Because I've seen, I've seen bull sharks in the, uh, the Waccamaw River and stuff. Oh, yeah. Let's take turns. Wait, he's with me when we go get the red. Where the best fish are, the biggest crackies are. Really? Yeah, there's this huge 15-footer, and we're like, uh, <laughs> he look, he's staring at us like Well, they, from me to you, they watch me put the feeder fish on and throw them out. Right. So the smaller ones go get them. And the big ones, when I'm fighting a big, big one they right in, he comes hook. right over. They eat the hook, and then we have to cut the And they'll jump right what, up. What you, so, you live, you live, you, so you live on the ocean, then? What's that? You live on the ocean, then? Yeah, the uh, alligators live on the, I live in the ocean. But, uh, right. On the, the alligators are immune to it. You be driving along right out in the ocean, and it's like, it's like that Jumanji thing. An alligator in the ocean, right next to you. Same size as this boat. Right. Next trip. Well, I've had run into great white sharks out of Merle's Inlet. I had one where I went out at dusk and you could actually see the whole silhouette of the shark underneath and then jerk right up. But I had one where in a video, the juvenile great white shark were going right over the jetties, head to head at each other like this. And you're just like, well, you know, not on this. I, I you know, like, it, I see enough stuff that I'm like, I keep going out here and I'm like, you sooner or later, something's gonna finally get you. Yeah. Cause this thing, if you get minorly bumped on the out here, the the thing what I hate the most riding here is with this is it's too narrow. I know the same thing. I mean it's it, you we can't. We get the big ships going by, and I gotta trim everything, put the tabs down, slow down, get ready for it, and eight footer. Cause it's it's hard. Uh, in intercoastal, this is cause you can't. It's really hard to turn your head back oh, yeah. to know what's behind you. Then when I've taken this, cause I've taken this up north to like Lake Geneva and stuff, really choppy water, and the ski's like a dream to ride. Oh, but yeah. you come here and with the current, people don't realize the current is super, super, oh, yeah. super strong. Well, it's like this when I go through the jetty and go out in the ocean. I got this thing floored and you could walk faster. Really? Oh, it's sucking in like crazy. You better ride the wave on the way in and fight them just right going out. I, we're from Michigan, so I was on Lake Michigan all my life when I was his age running my right. boats. And then, yeah, I like, I, I, I swim and play a lot in our lakes in Michigan. Here, yeah, not so much I fish. Right. I just drive around a boat fish. Now, if I take that out, I'm gonna be out front of Ocean Lakes on the ocean, but I'll still be leery because there's sharks out there too. There's but a couple people take them out there. They're, it's you know, they're night feeders. My son was fishing for sharks and catching them. Yeah. Until like 11 till 4 in the morning. And then I've done like the mats, and then um, I've changed the the handlebars. Oh, yeah. And, uh, you put the aftermarket spring in the lift on the handlebar? I, I put one in and I didn't like how it was and I took it back out, but then it has uh, the sponsons on it. And I had a, I had a ride plate and intake rate. And the problem here with just because there's so much debris, I put it back to stock. And then yeah, because I found the ride plate. Too much. The ride plate here just wasn't with the current, was was making it harder to ride than. Oh, but uh, oh, ski like that in Michigan on our, lake, our legs? Yeah. In heavy chop, Lake Geneva, this thing is like really easy oh, yeah. to ride and you come here and it can be calm, like and there are certain parts I cannot stand up. Like this part until you turn off there, then I could stand up. You can just feel that you can feel it's like turbulence in the water. Yeah. You could feel it. Feels like you got weeds on it. You can just you just feel it like it's just not catching. But when I had the sea doos, the sea doos would go one way, go one speed, and the other way would go a different speed, like by eight miles per hour. But then my Yamaha does the same speed front and back, does not change. Cause the hole's so wide, you know. I think that's why it does it. I got it. An RX TX AS with trim tabs. Either RX PX and an RX TX, yeah. and, and then both did the, the same thing. I got the AS with the trim tabs, a yeah. three seater with the bellows in the seat. Yeah. So you can get a six eight footer at seventy mile an hour, you don't feel it. Yeah. That's the one I got for the sled, but I didn't really want to bring. But in anything, I think I'd bring the eight hundred and just wheel it out front, tinker in the ocean a little bit, and put it back. Right. This the nice thing is, it's not if that. I bought this. I'd take it up north to Michigan. Right. That's a good sled for up there. But I've never taken this thing in the ocean. So I've never seen salt. It originally came from ten Tennessee is where yeah, I bought it. really don't hurt as long as you rinse them off every time. Yeah. It's a nice ski. I just, I want I want to get the Ultra 310R. Yeah. It's kind of I what just, I'm... He, he ain't got an alligator chasing your ass. Actually, <laughs> I go pretty fast now through here because I'm thinking to myself, I can't see what's behind me and I don't want to be like, I don't want if something happen. And Because well, when, when you see this gator, Cause I fell in and I got back on and I'm making practicing making turns which is really really hard here right, right. it's just and all of a sudden I'm going through the turn and you like how you can see your part of your uh ramp oh, yeah. or the, uh, the uh, trailer there, yeah. that's where you see the alligator coming up and you can see the whole like you can see the white of his neck 
like this, and I'm sitting here like, don't fall off, and what the heck am I doing here? But the time when I was by there, I, I trimmed it down when I was in the RXPX, nose dived it, and when I nose dived it was where the alligator was sitting, and I felt like a bull, like a car hit me, threw me off, I looked back what it was, and I looked frame by frame, and you could see the gator frame by frame where it hit the ski then swam off. He said he hit a log. Felt like, like he hit a log up there. It, it, what, it, I've never had anything hit that hard where I'm just like, what was that? I look back to see see what happened, but um, if I seen like a kid, he had an RXPX farther up by, closer by the uh, Bass Pro Shop, and there was a gator and the gator shot up at him when he was on a sit down. And he didn't see it from my point of view, I could see it, but where he was at, it was like kind of like, it, but I've seen the gator here like three times. Well, that just made my mind up. I was thinking about bringing my three seater uh, I just stay in the boats right now and keep them home. The sit downs, the sit downs, I feel safe, except for the CDs where they're known to sink. That's where he gets a little. <laughs> <laughs> I can't tell you how many people I've known it sunk, and I'm like, I'm here. This is not where I want to go for a swim, of like waiting to see what happens. You know. No kidding. That's a trip. I like the ride. It has a cockneedle cop car where it says jet ski license plate. <laughs> or sea do it's sea do it. Yeah. I figured that was you when you seen the I actually plate. have I have another one that has the whole canine cage in the back and I actually installed the canine cage in, in that one. The other one I got has like just picked up from Florida has like sixty eight thousand miles. Things like new. I they, love that when you come up on somebody they slow right down. Oh uh, no it's oh oh cops are the out. other one ha the other one actually has police lights in it and stuff. <laughs> So but uh, the thing, they towed 4,000 pounds. So, I oh, mean, yeah, I had a Jeep SRT and I sold it because it was just, I was done driving around an expensive car and like your jet ski and you're wet. And, hey, like, there were some bad ass cars there. They're, they're, they're quick. I mean, oh, it's yeah. not compared to what I used to have, but they do the job. Oh yeah, I like the idea that um, people freak out when you come up. I know, uh, it's, it's pretty <laughs> funny. <laughs> you too. Yeah, you hear that from people when they tell you there's gators in the ocean. And, all that and then you're like hey, the guy says as big as his boat and i'm on a little stand up sometimes i go what am i doing out here no joke seriously people don't realize it's like you come out here and it's like face your fears feel like they're going pain to go to haunted houses this is the haunted house this is a haunted house where you don't know where, the, where you're gonna be jumped at sometimes you'll be all right sometimes you will sometimes you won't it's got a lot of those like yeah. <laughs> if you're new to the channel, smash the subscribe button. Disney subscribers hit the bell notification. Totally free to enter for the giveaways. I'm Beowulf. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Beowulf Nation.